<laughs> well, it came about in the 70s. The, the idea in the 1970s, people saying, why can't Johnny write? What do you say to people who say that students nowadays can't write? I deal with this all the time because I direct a writing center and I direct a writing across the curriculum program. And sadly, and unfortunately, I hear that more frequently than I like to, which would be never, I would prefer not to ever hear it, um, because we all can write, and we all do write. And I think the one thing that's um, great about new media is that everybody does write, perhaps even more so than they used to. A lot of perfect student texts? No, not often. But that's exactly why this work is important to do. We're all mistake prone in our writing. We make errors. And um, it's, it's maybe not such, such a crisis after all. Oh, students write lots. I mean, the thing that's interesting about all the social media stuff is it's all, you know, Facebook and Twitter and blogging and all these sorts of related kinds of things are, they're, they're, they definitely transform the way that writing happens and is distributed because of the digital nature of it. And, you know, the social nature of it, the network nature of it. But at the end of the day, they're all words in a row kinds of compositions. And so students do lots and lots and lots of writing in these kinds of spaces. Um, so I think that actually people write in a weird sort of way, even though we don't think about this and we think of like, you know, the internet sort of like having ended, you know, all these book things or whatever. Uh, in a sort of a weird sort of way, I think that. Um, writing's never been more important and more useful. Again, I work a lot with faculty, is that sometimes it's the task that sets students up for failure. So an assignment by, might be especially poorly constructed or require things of students that they, you know, haven't learned. And so it's the onus is on, and this is what I work with, with faculty in writing across the curriculum, helping them learn how to support and scaffold assignments and structure assignments. <clears throat> the student I'm working with today um, is had, was assigned a paper and there's no scaffolding. She was told she has to have a 10-page paper due by this date and that's it. She's on her own and she's never written that paper like that in her disciplinary field and she was told she needed to have academic sources to support her arguments. So that's a pretty tall order for a student who's never done that kind of work before within their disciplinary field and without the kind of support and instruction that's appropriate to that task, they're, they're being set up to fail, sadly. Instead of being complaints, should be um, moments when we reflect upon what we're teaching, why we're teaching that, and then how. Um, how might we do it differently? Uh, I don't really care much for the blame game about saying it's somebody else's job. I think of a, I think of writers today as um, people who really need to be adept with a wide range of skills and practices. They need to be uh, folks who, of course, have a, a grasp on um, uh, written written English, but um, but also understand uh, you know that writing is surrounded on all sides by other interesting kinds of uh, forms of communication. Um, so writers need to be able to figure out how to uh, not just work with text, but um, how to craft messages that draw on and deploy these other kinds of media too. But the trick is not to say, well, you know, that makes that means that Twitter's bad or that Facebook is bad or whatever. The, the trick is to make people understand that different contexts call for different kinds of of writing choices, which was which is again that's what makes writing hard and 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 interesting. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>